Hello, I'm Marion, a product manager for Messenger and Instagram business communication. If you watched the keynote, you already know that Messenger API for Instagram is now available to all developers. I'm personally very excited by this announcement because it's been a top request from brands and developers for some time now, and our team worked really hard to make it a reality. In this session, I'll take you through key API capabilities, I'll share a few case studies, and I'll also host a conversation with two BetApp partners to discuss their experience with the API. If you're on Instagram, you already know that it's a special place where people come every day to connect with friends, family, and businesses alike. In fact, 90% of people on Instagram follow at least one business. People use Instagram to get inspired by brands they love, to connect with them in a way that's more personal, and to discover new products and services. And messaging is core to that experience. When I'm on Instagram, I can reach out to businesses in many ways. If I have a question about a new sweatshirt that I discovered while checking out my stories or while browsing a shop catalog, I can easily message the business right there and then. I can also message a business directly from their profile, or start a conversation by messaging them on their posts. And when a business quickly responds and communicates with me in a way that feels personal, it builds trust and loyalty. This is how messaging can turn people into customers and customers into long-term advocates. While messaging provides opportunities to unlock sales and loyalty, we also hear that managing conversations at scale has been challenging. That's why I'm so thrilled about bringing the Messenger API to Instagram. Developers around the world build rich sets of products to resolve the messaging needs of businesses. And the API now makes it possible for businesses to leverage those for Instagram. From the many cool things that the API enables, I want to highlight three specifically that businesses tell us are really important to them. First, the API allows businesses to manage Instagram messages from the same communication platforms that they already use for other channels. Until now, agents needed to open the Instagram app on their phone to respond to messages, which was widely inefficient. Businesses have already invested time and resources in these platforms, and with the API, they can now extend these investments to Instagram. Second, the API makes it possible to integrate Instagram messaging with existing tools and systems, such as CRM, inventory management, or analytics. These integrations equip agents with the customer insight and data that they need to provide personalized experiences. And third, the API enables businesses to build automated flows. I'm particularly excited about this one because automation can be a powerful tool to increase customer satisfaction and agent efficiency. It can provide people with immediate answers to their questions, and it can also offload live agents from simple tasks which means that they'll be quicker to respond to people with more complex inquiries. I'm also excited by what the API means for our developer community. It creates new opportunities to provide solutions that resolve the many needs of businesses. To help developers build strong messaging experiences for businesses, we've built support for key features that many of you may already know from Messenger. I want to dive into five of them specifically. Let's start with Icebreaker and Quick Reply. As I mentioned earlier, automation can be a powerful tool. But building effective automated flows based on freeform text and natural language processing can be hard and can result in frustrating experiences for people if done poorly. One way to resolve this is by designing your automated flow based on structured inputs from people. That's exactly what Icebreaker and Quick Reply enable you to do. They make it possible to build automated flows based on a predefined set of options that people can tap on to navigate the flow. These features improve the experience for people too. They set clear expectations of options available to them, which makes it easy to get the conversation started and to quickly get the answers that they need. We've seen Icebreaker and Quick Reply used for a variety of use cases, including automating responses to frequently asked questions or to help triage conversations before transferring them to a live agent. Which brings me to the next feature, the handover protocol. The most powerful messaging experiences combine automation and live chat, because sometimes people really need to connect with a live person. And in those moments, businesses need to provide a quick and seamless transition to a live agent to ensure their customers are satisfied. 
At other times, businesses use automation to triage and qualify conversations before involving agents. And here too, they need to make the transition smooth. The handover protocol enables developers to make that seamless transition happen, even if the automated flow and live chat experiences are built by separate developers. The fourth feature I want to talk about is the generic template. For certain use cases, such as product discovery or recommendation, businesses want to make it easy for people to browse products in a way that's highly visual and want to help them easily take an action and complete a purchase. The generic template allows developers to build carousels with multiple options of products that people can view. It also comes with buttons that people can tap on to indicate which specific product they're interested in. The last feature I want to highlight is private reply. Sometimes businesses receive comments from people on Instagram public surfaces, such as a post, that require one-on-one -on -one follow-up to resolve. These comments might come from frustrated customers who had a bad experience with the business or from people that simply want to know when they're likely to receive the product that they ordered last week. Private Reply enables businesses to follow up on these comments via direct messages directly from their third-party inboxes. As part of a beta program, we've seen partners benefiting from the Messenger API for Instagram across a multitude of use cases. One key recurring thing that we've observed across many partners is the need to better manage the high volumes of messages that they already receive on Instagram. I want to share four examples of beta partners who have successfully resolved this need using the API. The first example is H&M. You probably know this, but H&M is a major retailer with a global presence. Every day, H&M receives large volumes of messages from customers on Instagram in multiple languages. Before using the API, it was really hard for them to address the, this volume in an efficient way. H&M worked with Sprinkler to create custom workflows and logics based on language detection to automatically organize and route messages to the correct support team. H&M was able to increase efficiency of their agents by 31% and customer satisfaction by over nine points. My second example is Sephora. Before using the API, Sephora redirected customers who reach out to them via Instagram to other channels, such as email. Sephora was looking to reduce channel deflection as much as possible as meeting customers on their preferred channel is really important to them. But similarly to our first example, they need an advanced tool to organize messages and route them to the correct support team. Using Course's automation and business configurable rules, Sephora was able to completely eliminate channel deflection. They now address 100% of customers' questions directly in Instagram. Third, let's talk about another very cool company, 4Ocean. 4Ocean has the mission to end the ocean plastic crisis. They sell sustainable and reusable products to raise awareness about the crisis and to fund their global ocean cleanup operations. The 4Ocean team is very actively promoting their cause and products on Instagram stories, which results in tons and tons of messages every day. They wanted help managing this volume and ensuring that all messages receive a response because engaging with people is key to achieving their company mission. Working with ClaraBridge, 4Ocean set up advanced tagging and routing logic that have enabled them to respond to 94% of messages. Our last example, Kios, is a powerful case study for how messaging can drive qualified leads and sales. In Malaysia, Kios was receiving a large volume of pre-purchased inquiry messages on Instagram. So they saw the opportunity to turn these leads into customers, but needed help prioritizing messages with the highest intent to purchase. Kios worked with developer Jumper.ai to detect, prioritize, and route high potential customers to live agents via the handover protocol. And now they see 30% more qualified leads in Instagram messaging compared to other channels, and about 20% of their consultations convert into sales. These four case studies are just a few examples of businesses already seeing results from the API. We have so many more exciting case studies from brands like Me Andy's European Wax Center and Amoro that you can check out on our website. And now let's hear directly from our beta partners themselves, Samsung Benelux, and the developer partner they have been working with, Kuros. I'm pleased to introduce Ruben from Samsung Benelux and Amy from Kuros 
to learn more about their experience working with the Messenger API for Instagram. Hi, I'm Ian Rubin. Thanks for joining us today. Can you start by giving us a little bit of an introduction? Sure. I'm Amy. I lead Channel Alliances at Coros, which means I get to work with innovative global brands and our Facebook partners. Um, businesses around the world use Coros to stay connected to their customers through both uh, public and private digital interactions in one place at scale. Hello, everybody. My name is Ruben. I'm responsible for customer care within Samsung Electronics Benelux. So I'm not only responsible for customer care, but also involved in our channel strategy. And most important, uh, I'm allowed to build all the cool partnerships that we have with a lot of companies that help us support our goals. Thanks for the intro. We're very excited to have you both here. Ruben, my first question is for you. Can you tell me what role Instagram messaging plays for your business? The, the, the Messenger API for Instagram helps us to reach out to our customers even more than we do today. Uh, maybe I need to explain a little bit more of our channel strategy. We want to make it as easy as possible for our customers to reach out to us because we make amazing products uh, in different ranges, so like mobile, TV, and, and white goods, but also gaming monitoring and, and other cool devices and if that device breaks down or does not do what we promised you that it will do then please reach out to us and it should be as easy as it possibly can and this one this this channel helps us support our customers to the utmost level so they can really use the device as it should be very great and so samsung betalux was is one of our beta partners and when you start integrating with the api what were some of the early learnings, early thoughts that your team had? The team is used to us closing down, uh, reopening or starting new channels. So that was nothing new for them. What was new is that the questions we received from Instagram seemed to be a little bit different. We use interaction analytics. So on voice and on digital, we know exactly why customers reach out to us. And we've noticed on Instagram even though we just started a couple of months ago, that the questions are more product driven. So more about specifications, more commercial, more about, okay, where can I buy the product or when will it be launched? And that's a bit, a bit different from our other channels. Those are more support driven. Pre-purchase inquiry is definitely a use case that we see is very prevalent with a lot of partners. Uh, that's very exciting to hear that it's the case for Samsung Benelux um, as well. Um, it's really an opportunity to convert some of these pre-purchase inquiry questions uh, into potential like sales. Um, I don't know if that's something that you're planning on um, building for the future, but very exciting to hear. Amy, from your perspective, what's the most exciting thing about working with brands like Samsung Benelux? I think for us, and until now, many of these brands weren't able to take advantage of, of using Instagram messaging uh, because it had to be managed separately. And um, there were concerns about not being able to meet support SLAs or security worries about giving out passwords to bigger teams. Um, so I think overall, we've, we've really helped brands to gain control of that channel and to start managing all interactions really efficient, efficiently. Um, and I think what that has done is allowed everyone to think bigger and more creatively about the experiences that they want to create on Instagram as a whole. Um, Samsung Benelux is a great example of this. Um, as, as Ruben shared, they've been pioneering in messaging across the board, and they really see Instagram as an extension uh, of their team's reach and efficiency. That's exciting. I want to hear more about the experience for Samsung Benelux specifically. Um, Ruben, can you share maybe some details of what the Samsung experience on course is about? Yes, when it comes to Instagram, uh, a year ago, we used a tablet to answer the direct messages we received by the Instagram channel. And that took our agents a lot of time, not agents, just one single agent. And it took them a lot of time and they were putting all their energy in just answering the question of the customer. So then it's quite hard to also add value to that contact. And if you have the basic fixed in a system with the API, then the agent will be enabled to give the right answer, but also provide additional value. Like for example, if, 
somebody asks us a question today about a repair, then of course an engineer will be part of the solution. But we also have the possibility to offer them something else or at least tell them about the new possibilities that they have with another great device that we can offer him. And if you digitalize your contacts and you use your automated guide like we have Sam, you can start with a question, then some will take over. So that's the guide. If some has done or provided all the information that he could provide and you have all the product specifications, then he will hand it over to an agent. And that agent will be your guide, your next guide in your journey. And eventually that will provide the best possible service ever. And to give you some examples, when we use uh, our automated guide, or 20% of our questions that we receive on digital are fully handled by our guide nowadays. And that's on messaging and WhatsApp. And we expect on the, on the Instagram channel, we expect the same numbers. And on messaging, Facebook messaging, it helped us reduce digital cost with 25%. Wow, those are exciting results. Thanks for sharing. Um, I'm excited to see Sam join Instagram. Amy, can you tell us a bit more about the automation tools that Chorus has built and how they have helped brands like Samsung? Sure. Uh, at, a, at a basic level, it's all about efficiency and visibility. Um, out of the box, we offer a way to set up automation so that questions can go to team members uh, in order to handle them uh, in different ways. So um, a good example is story app mentions. Those can go straight to a marketing team, for example, or uh, shipping questions could go straight to someone who's set up to handle that and, and so forth. Another thing we do uh, is give teams uh, visibility uh, through things like interaction history alongside CRM context so that you can start to see with who you're engaging with and, and build those relationships over time. And um, we also give team members or, or team leads the ability to see what their, what their team is accomplishing. Um, so how many messages came in on Instagram, how quickly did the team respond to those, and how does that compare to the work that they might be doing across all of the other channels that they also manage? Curious to know, for you both, what are some future plans and goals to further leverage Messenger API for Instagram? Are there features that you're excited about? How are you planning to engage with more customers? It's what you said. It's all about engagement. It's all about engaging with your customers, but then you need a platform that kind of fixes the basics. So if we've done that. We fixed the basics. So that will enable us to even interact with our customers more in the future. So for example, we can now ask marketing to put a great marketing post of a great product online. Then the moment the customer is interested, we will take over. So it's like a virtual a shop assistant that will help you make the right decision and the right product. But if the shop assistant, so some, our bot, is not sufficient enough, then it will be handed over to an agent. And that agent will also be fully focused on engaging with that customer with the end result that the customer will own a new great Samsung product again. And I think on my end, uh, conversational commerce is a use case that we're getting really excited about. Uh, seeing from, from brands like Samsung Benelux, as, as Ruben said earlier, um, they're really embracing messaging as an extension of their sales and support teams. Um, but I think in order to do that really well, you have to have this perfect marriage of um, automation and human and marketing team and support team uh, and all of those different processes and analytics that, that flow in between. Um, so we're really excited about that at Coros because that's that's essentially what we do um, for for large businesses who are trying to take all of that complexity and distill it into simple workflows um, that they can use a, a, across their team. So you know our goal is to measure a, a real result at the end of that, like cost savings or uh, uh, conversion, um, and ultimately to help the end user. Re make make a better purchase decision and remove friction from the process. So we're really excited about continuing to innovate with, with Facebook uh, and the brands we work with um, in order to build more of those rich uh, conversational experiences. Thanks, Amy and Ruben. Uh, thanks for taking the time to share your experience. We're thrilled to hear how the API is helping you. And I'm personally very excited to hear about your investments in conversational commerce 
and building experiences that mix live chat and automation. Those are very powerful use cases. Thanks again for being here. Thanks so much for having us. It's so great to be with all of you during F8 Refresh. On behalf of the Messenger and Instagram business messaging teams, I want to thank our partners and developers for building the future of business messaging with us. As we develop this API, it's been amazing to work with partners developers from all around the world, and we'll always be listening to feedback from the community to improve it. Please stay with us at F8 Refresh for more in-depth technical sessions and visit our developer website to start building your Instagram messaging experience. I'm so excited that this API is now available to our developer community, and I can't wait to see what you will create with it.